Hi, this is Joyce. In the January All-in-One, there are several patterns that we combine to make patterns used in the borders. In this video, I will show you how to take the MD Kirby Lines Base and the MD Channel Bumps and Lines Base and combine them with a point-to-point -point triangle to make the patterns used in borders two and four. So I will start with the MD curvy lines base, and I have my grid set at six inches. I will turn my snaps on, and I'm going to select the MD curvy lines, click on draw pattern, and snap the pattern to the grid. Right click and then right click again to exit. Then I'm going to select the pattern and turn on nodes view and I'm going to zoom in and I want to divide this node here. It's not the one at the corner, it's the one a little bit inside. I'll press, I'll hover over it, press D on my keyboard. Then select that line and go to the other side and hover over this pink node and press D on my keyboard. Now with that line selected, I'm going to press delete on my keyboard. Now I'm going to select the dart point to point triangle, click on draw pattern again, and I'm going to snap it to those two endpoints that we just divided out. We need to select the first segment, click on order join, and now the pattern starts on the left, ends on the right. We can select the pattern, right click, save pattern, it's a triangle, and I will keep it in the collections I already have added. Save and close. Now I have that pattern ready to use in the project. So I will delete that one. And now I'm going to take the curvy line pattern and combine it again, because we're going to combine it with this sorbet pearls triangle. And that will be the pattern that we use in the center. So once again, with the pattern selected, I'll click on Draw Pattern. Snaps are still on. Right click, right click again. Select the pattern. Press F7 or click on Nodes View. And it's this node here and this node here that we want to divide. So I'll click this time on this node, press D on my keyboard, and then press D on my keyboard here. And now the line, just the segment in between is selected. Press delete on my keyboard. Now I will select Sorbet Pearls Pattern, click on Draw Pattern, Snap to the Ends, and we need to order join, so we'll select the first segment, click on Order Join, and now we can select this pattern, right click, Save, and Point to Point, Save and close. I'll delete that one. And now we have a second triangle um, modular. MD is my abbreviation for modular design. I'm going to click on the MD channel pattern. Click on draw pattern. Right click, right click again. And for this pattern, we'll select it, turn on nodes view again. We'll come in and hover on this inner corner and press D, select that baseline, 
and we want to divide at this point. With the line selected, I can press delete on the keyboard to delete the line. One thing I will mention is on the curvy line triangle, you saw there was a little line segment on either side. The reason that I brought and designed that module, or I designed that pattern so that it had a little line inside, is because of the curvy nature of those inside lines, the, um, the triangles needed to be set inside just a little bit so that they did not um, overlap those curvy lines. So anyways, with this pattern, the baseline is now d deleted. We'll click, click on Sorbet, small curvy triangle, click on draw pattern, and snap from left to right, right click, right click again to close drawing, select the first segment, click on order join, and now we can select this pattern, right click save pattern, we'll call this MD channel small curved patch. Change it from block to point to point and save and close. These are examples of patterns and how I put them together for this quilt. You can combine this base pattern with other point to point triangles that you have to make unlimited um, pattern variations. So I hope you have fun making lots of different patterns.